to make 92. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> so if you do suffer from triskaidekaphobia, which is fear of Friday the 13th, or androphobia, or phasmophobia, or onomatophobia, as you can tell, <laughs> I don't suffer from glossophobia, <laughs> why don't you just sit back, put your cares and worries aside, and let us bring you an evening of close harmony in more ways than one. So why don't we just do what we do best, singing about the ones we love. When I was dating girls, just like the rest of all the guys, I ran across this one who thought she was so very wise. She liked my car and money too.
know, summertime means outdoor fun, and outdoor fun to me means baseball. Besides sharing a love for barbershop with our Russian friends, we also share a growing love for the American pastime. So, don your favorite baseball cap, grab your glove and about 30 bucks, because you'll want to buy a hot dog and a drink, and... Let's go! Let's go! Off on Don in the Republic of Russia, let's hear it for the Quiet Don Quartet.
that. And that's just a sample of what's to come. They'll be back a little bit later on with their wives, and you'll be fully entertained, believe me. One little other thing before we get started here again. I noticed that some people might be taking some flash pictures out there. Please do not do that. It distracts the performers terribly. So if you are taking some flash pictures, please do not do that. Well, it's time for me to ask you a question. Have you ever wondered where all the songs that we sing, hum, or whistle come from? Are they the offspring of some inspired genius? Well, actually, they're not. You know, all it takes to write a song is a good imagination and a good, uh, a, a good memory. That's it. <laughs> anyway, there are only 12 notes in the musical scale, and there's 26 letters in the alphabet, and all the possible combinations of those have been used up long, long ago. So a song is nothing but a rehashing of something that's been done time and time again. Now we're going to demonstrate that for you tonight with a song that literally swept the nation in 1920. That song was Yes, We Have No Bananas. Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today. inspiration. You couldn't do better than the composer of this song because for the opening strains he went to one of the greatest of all choral compositions, Handel's Messiah. Hallelujah. To which he added the word. <laughs> now don't laugh folks because you're going to find out that that's the only original part of the whole song. <laughs> now for the words we have no bananas today we turn to an old favorite that you've all sung before. Oh, bring back my body to me. Now the next two lines with string beans and onions, cabbages and scallions comes, from us, comes to us from an old song that is commonly known as the woodpecker's nightmare or Then the lyrics go, we have an old-fashioned tomato, Long Island potato, but what do we find here? Another old parlor favorite. I was seeing Nelly And where did we find them? In now, all of these bits and pieces, plus a repeat of the first, make up the whole song. So let's see how Yes, We Have No Bananas would sound like singing the original words to all its melodic parts. Hallelujah, banana, oh, bring back my body to me. I dreamt I dwelt in marble halls, the kind that you seldom see. I would sing belly home in an old-fashioned garden. Once in a while, though, one of our guys decides he wants to stretch his barbershop wings and try something really daring and novel. So, by wonderful twists of fate, he finds three guys who sing different parts, who have socks that match, <laughs> and most of the time, they all pretty much get along, if you can believe that. <laughs> what they do, they form a quartet, take weeks to think up a name, and start looking for places to sing. Well. This is the place, and they call themselves a pitch in time. The night was mighty dark, and you could hardly see, for the moon refused to shine. A position underneath the willow tree, for love they find. Made was made of darkness, so. I guess I'll go 
Shelly said not to touch the mic, so it's okay, Shelly? Am I close to not touching the mic? Anyway. Never trust another blind guy from your fits. <coughs> anyway, the Pitch and Time Quartet has been around for three or four years, uh, singing in various places. In fact, uh, we were truly honored to just have a return from several performances in Moscow. That was one of our biggest thrills to hear. I want you to know that things are beautiful in Moscow, Idaho, this time of year. I got you that time. We'd like to sing another song for you, which uh, we have a very talented uh, composer and uh, arranger and writer in this quartet. And a short guy on the end here wrote this song, which you may have heard before. It was out of the 1930s. And, you know, that scene was around then. It's called Shantytown. There's a queen waiting there with a silvery crown in my shanty.
Yes, folks, it is believing that has made this evening possible. That and wonderful good fortune. Of only five concerts presented throughout the state of California, the Whittier chapter was honored by being asked to be one of the sponsors. And by the way, if you've been fighting the urge to sing along, fight no longer because our own Bill Johnson will be out at intermission time to lead you in a few songs. Now, I believe I, I think I hear a pitch pipe now, that's it. <laughs> and that can only mean one thing. Death time, swing time, they're okay. But let me hear a ragtime band today. Come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear. Alexander's ragtime band. Come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear. It's the best band in the land. They can play like you never heard before. But it's a song that the roll, that the song that the roll. seen them on Cheers. You've heard them on countless recordings, they've sung for presidents, and you've heard their voices on various, as var various cartoon characters on Saturday morning. They've also performed at Disneyland, in the New Orleans Superdome, on the Carnegie Hall stage, and out of this country as the first barbershop quartet ever to tour Russia. They are multi-times international medalists, and without a doubt, are society's greatest barbershop ambassadors. Ladies and gentlemen, the 139th Street Quartet.
too. Now in that year, Vivaldi wrote a little military military song, and 30 years later, Bach had the temerity to purloin it, and he also stole it and named it after himself. He called his version Bach's fugue in D minor, which was something of improvement on Vivaldi's original march, which was entitled she was nice to the regiment, but rotten to the core. So, not so funny, but informative. So we'd now like to do for you in the very worst way, which is in fact how we do it, a box fugue in <laughs> D minor. Are you folks having a great time tonight? Yes. Well, we'll put a stop to that, let me tell you. Um, first of all, it seems like there's a lot of people out there tonight. How many people out there? Can you raise your hands for a second? Do you ever notice that the more people that show up, the bigger crowd you have? Really, not too many people, kind of a small crowd. That's called oddly interrelated. And uh, as a matter of fact, should I tell them about that? Two weeks from now, in case you read off all the stuff that the quartet has done, in case you're interested, in two weeks we just signed a contract. We're going to be performing at the world famous Hollywood Bowl. Are you familiar with the Hollywood Bowl? Two weeks coming up there, we're going to be giving a concert there. And if you've never been to the Hollywood Bowl, it's just a fantastic place uh, to sing. Uh, 24 lanes, automatic pin setters. Um, Coffee shops open all night, and um, we would like. I said that. Oh, that's true. Just a week ago, we came back from doing the show. We were playing over in Las Vegas at the world famous International House of Pancakes, and uh, and boy, I tell you, you know, our records were really selling like hotcakes over there. So um, three bucks a stack. So. Uh, First of all, how much do people pay to get in here tonight? How much? How much do you pay to get in? 
$13? You paid $13 to get here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to do an $8 show. No way. At least, uh, what? $30 show? $30, how about a $30 show tonight? You ready for that? Okay. $30 it is. And, and, and you know, while you people are sitting out there and we're up here singing, just think of this for just one second. While we're up here singing, you people are making money. Only stands a reason. All the more reason to pick up a tape or two on the way out. So um, you won't be able to miss the big sign we have out there, but try to. Three people have tripped over it already. But um, we would like to leave the U-Haul here. So if you'd stop by the table, we'd appreciate that. Um, we'd like to do a song for you now. Okay, the, the guys are a little embarrassed about doing this, but there was a gentleman that was out in the uh, lobby tonight who comes to a lot of the shows here at the, the La Mirada Civic, and we would uh, we, we hope we don't embarrass him by pointing him out tonight. Uh, right down here in the second row, you re remember him from Poseidon Adventure, McHale's Navy, uh, many other countless, Marty, Mr. Marty. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Uh, Ernest Borgnine is right down here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, lady. I, I thought that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna a face in the um, <laughs> bet you can really spit through that, though, right? With the. We would like to uh, bring out a gentleman now that's been doing a lot of shows with us. Uh, he's one of the the all-time great barbershoppers in our barbershop society. He's 88 years young, ladies and gentlemen, and we would like to. Uh, Feature Mr. Hal Purdy on a beautiful song right now. Go ahead. There he is. This is a song made famous by Mr. George Burns. It's entitled I Wish I Were 18 Again.
have to, I have to tell you about something about Hal. He lives in New York and he, he designs uh, golf courses. And uh, after the show tonight, he's taking the red eye back to New York so he can be at a wedding tomorrow. Tough guy. That's how he stays young. That's how he does it. <laughs> Anyhow, this is, uh, we'd like to do a song that's, uh, it's our, currently, our favorite song. We're sort of like ragtime or something. This is, we really love this song. It's a great song, and it's a Yubi Blake song. It's called I'm Just Wild About Harry. Oh, do, 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 do. Wow. 
we're, we're after the 30s now. The 30s, big news is the first the depression. Nobody had any money to listen to anything or hear and do anything. So if you wanted to listen to music, you probably went down by the railroad to the hobo camp and you probably listened to, you couldn't listen to Blind Melon Chitlin sing Shine on Harvest Moon Blues. Shine on harvest moon up in the sky. Ain't had no loving since last July. I once had me a girl, she wouldn't even croon. She needed moonlight for us to spoon. Shine on harvest moon up in the sky. A little harmonica boy. I said, Shine on harvest Ding, 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 ding,
Rong, 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 a long dong, a ding, a ding, a dong, 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 a boom, boom, a ding, a ding, a wong, 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 a wop, wop, a ding, a ding, a wop, wop, a da, da, a ding, a ding, a wop, wop, a ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, bang, 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 a dong, dong, a ding, a ding, a bang, 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 a bang, bang, a ding. the auditorium till three, you know. You can <laughs> so here it is, 139th Street meets Deliverance. through the 70s. We will leave you in um, April of 1986 with, do you know what an oxymoron is? An oxymoron, uh, an oxymoron are two things that don't go together like jumbo shrimp, that's an oxymoron, or military intelligence, that's another <laughs> one. Or happily married, you know, I mean these... Now here's the best, here's the best oxymoron you will ever Amicable hear. Amicable divorce. Amicable divorce. No, that's not it. Here's the best one you will ever hear. Rap music. <laughs> I 
I know it's depressing, but we don't have anything else to do, you see. So we will leave you now in, uh, in April of 1986 with that uh, slam a guy, that guy who's too bad, he's too bad for his own good, that scum of the earth, slam a damage DJ. <laughs> Yo, check it out, all you people in the posse! You've heard of the fat boys. We're the big boys. How about all you people to get down as we sing something like this? Come on, start clapping. All the white people on one and three. Yo, the night was mighty dark cause you could hardly see. I was hanging at the park with my baby on my knee. She said I get scared when the mood it won't glow. It's all the same to you, I think that I should go. I said, my dearie, dry the tear from your eye. There's nothing to be afraid of and here's the reason why. Shining harvest moon way up there in the sky. You know I've had no loving like George, you're putting in pie. When the wind is chilling, that ain't no time for love. Come on, you big old moon, shine on me from above. Get busy, y'all! Oh, oh. Break it down! Peace, love to the eternity of gentlemen and women. With the 139th Street Quartet, we're out of here. Yay! Yeah,
мы счастливы, что вы так радостно, восторженно воспринимаете этот стиль барбушок, и особенно нас. Спасибо. I think you all understand. Come on, you seven. Come on.